What's up everybody? Welcome back for another video in the iOS interview series. Today we're going to be talking about part one of communication patterns. Now at a high level what that is is that is how two views can communicate with each other. There's two ways of doing this, delegates and protocols and notifications and observers. I'm going to separate those two topics into their own videos. This video is going to be all about delegates and protocols. And just to drive the point home, I did a phone screen for a contract just yesterday and half of the iOS portion was spent on communication patterns, both delegates and protocols and notifications and observers. So super important that you know this. So what we're going to build today is a simple app that demonstrates how two views can communicate with each other. And the way we're going to demonstrate that is we're going to present a screen that has some options on it based on what you pick on that screen. After you dismiss it, the results of those choices will be on the original screen. All right, let's get to it. Before diving into this project, I just want to back up for a second and talk about the main point between these two different communication patterns, the delegates and protocols and the notifications and observers. Delegates and protocols are a one-to-one -one communication. That's one view communicating with another view. Whereas notifications and observers is a one-to-many pattern. So you can have one observer and you can have 10 different notifications pointing to that one observer. So it's one-to-many. So again, that's just the main difference you need to know. Again, delegates slash protocols is one-to-one. Notifications slash observers is one to many. Okay, let's dive in. Now, as you saw in the intro, this is just a basic two screen app. Uh, the screen on the left here uh, is what I call the base screen. The screen on the right is the selection screen. When you hit choose a side, the selection screen is gonna pop up modally. You're gonna choose a side and then it's gonna dismiss and the base screen is gonna change based on your selection. And where the communication pattern of delegates and protocols comes in is when you make your choice on the selection screen, it's going to pass that information back to the base screen to display the proper information. So that's the gist of what we're gonna build. Let me walk you through what I have set up already. Right here, this Star Wars logo, that's just an image view. Down here, I have a button. Uh, there's a label here with nothing in it right now that's gonna display the name of the character when we uh, select it. Again, this is the base screen on the left, and here on the right, this is just two buttons uh, that has the Imperial logo and the Rebel logo. And again, when you press that button, this screen's gonna dismiss, and the new information is gonna show up on the base screen. So that takes care of the storyboard, very straightforward. Go to the base screen code. All I have here is the outlets from the image view, the button, and the name label. And then here in view to load, I'm just doing some quick UI code. This is just making the button rounded corners. No big deal here. And then in the choose button tap. So when you tap that button, what I'm doing is I'm creating a selection view controller here on line 23. So storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier selection screen as selection screen. So that's just creating the selection screen. And then here on line 24, present selection VC. So all this is doing is this is pulling up the selection screen when I tap on choose a side. So that's the basic setup of the base screen. And then on the selection screen, even more basic, when you tap the Imperial button for now, we're just dismissing, and the same thing when you tap the Rebel button. Let's run it real quick just to give you a visual. Okay, so you see I have my base screen ready to go. You hit choose a side, up pops the selection screen, and then no matter which one I pick, it's just gonna dismiss the view controller. So bam, that's the basic starter setup. Nothing to do with delegates and protocols yet, that's what we're about to do, but I wanted you to understand the basic setup so far. All right, so let's talk delegates and protocols. Back here in our main storyboard, I have these two screens set up because this is gonna help me out with my analogy to help describe delegates and protocols. So the way I remember delegates and protocols is kind of imagining a boss and an intern uh, in my head. In this case, the base screen here on the left is the intern and the selection screen on the right is the boss. So the boss knows all the information about what needs to be done, knows how to do it. The intern doesn't know how to do it. He's just waiting for orders from the boss. So in this example here, the boss screen on the right, our selection screen, is gonna know what I picked. It's gonna know Imperial or Rebel, and then based on the code in there, we're gonna select the right image, we're gonna select the right title and color and everything, and pass that on to the intern. And then once the intern gets that information, he's gonna act accordingly based on the orders the boss gave him. If that analogy doesn't quite make sense right now, uh, hopefully you'll get it by the end of the video, because I'll keep going back to it. Okay, so when setting up the delegate and protocols, you have to do some setup in the boss screen, which I call, which is gonna be our selection screen, and then we're also gonna have to do some setup in our intern screen, which is gonna be our base screen. And just to reiterate, the way you know which one is the boss screen versus the intern screen, is which one knows all the information and then what screen is just acting on that information once it's given. So the one that knows all the information is the boss screen. The one that just takes orders and does what it's told is the intern. And again, base screen here on the left, intern, selection screen on the right, boss. All right, let's start building. So we're gonna start building our boss screen. So go to selection screen.swift. And again, all we have in here so far is our two IB actions that dismiss the screen when you tap the button. The first thing you need to do is set up your protocol, which is kind of like a list of commands you're gonna give to the intern from the boss. So let's go ahead and set that up. So just type protocol, it should auto complete there. Now naming things is the hardest thing in programming, but we're just going to go with side selection delegate. Uh, and that side selection delegate is going to take one command here. It's going to be a function, uh, function did tap choice. And then we're going to pass in three parameters here. So we're going to pass in an image, which is a UI image. This is going to be what character to display. And then we're going to pass in a name, which is the name of that character. And that's going to be a string. And then we're also gonna pass in a color because we're gonna change the background of the base screen based on light side or dark side. 
So that's going to take a UI color. Okay, so our protocol is complete. And just to keep it simple, we are only keeping it to one function. I uh, just know that in the real world, this can't have more than one, um, or it could only have one, but just know that you're not restricted to just one function. Okay, so now that we have our protocol complete, which is again, kind of just like a list of orders, you're not actually defining what happens in the function. You'll notice there's no like open bracket, close bracket, what to do in this function. It's just basically a list of the function names. Like I said, kind of like a list of commands for the intern. So that's the basic setup of the protocol. Now we have to create our intern, so to speak. So our selection screen needs to have a variable that holds that delegate. So let's go ahead and create that. So if our, just call it selection delegate. Now some people just call this delegate. I like to actually be more specific with my names because sometimes some classes will have already a, a default delegate variable. Uh, so that kind of gets confusing. So I always like to use a more descriptive name uh, like selection delegate rather than just delegate. But you may see just delegate uh, in a lot of places. So we're gonna call this selection delegate. And it is of type side selection delegate, what we just created up top in our protocol. And we know we're gonna have this because we're gonna pass it from one screen to the other, so we can go ahead and force and wrap this. Okay, so now we have our protocol set up. We've created our intern, which we're calling selection delegate. Now we have to give our intern, the selection delegate, uh, some orders when the imperial button is tapped and when the rebel button is tapped. So down here in imperial tapped, let's go ahead and do selection delegate. So again, you can think of this as our intern. So what do we want our selection delegate to do? We want them to do did tap choice. And then here's where we're gonna pass in what we want it to actually do. So here I wanna pass a UI image called Vader. And this is just the image I already have here. Uh, if you look in the assets, I already have this in the project. I have some images, there's Luke, there's the Rebel logo, you know, Imperial, Vader, all this stuff. Okay, so back to our selection screen. And the, string, the name is going to be Darth Vader. And then the color is going to be dot red. Uh, for the dark side. So same thing in here when they tap uh, when they tap the rebel button, we want selection delegate. Again, we want did tap choice, except we just want to pass in some different information. Um, we want UI image name, and I messed up the Darth Vader one. We'll go back and fix that real quick. Named, and then this is Luke, and the string is Luke Skywalker, and then the color is dot cyan. That blue is too too harsh. So here I need image and then I need the named parameter. And then we need to uh, insert the bang there, insert the bang there. Again, it, we're safe to force unwrap that because we know we have the UI image uh, titled Vader and the UI image titled Luke because it's in our assets. If you were downloading this image from the internet and you know you could have a network connection issue or anything like that, you'd wanna unwrap this optional in a safer way. But since these images are actually in our project, we can force unwrap them. Okay, that's all the setup we need to do in our selection screen, which again is our boss. Uh, so just to recap, we created our protocol in the boss screen, which is our selection screen. And what the protocol is, is essentially just a list of function, kind of like think of it as like a command list for your intern. In this example, we only have one called did tap choice. And we want to call this did tap choice when they tap the imperial button and when they tap the rebel button. So here in the imperial button, we have selection delegate, which is the variable we created that's going to hold our intern, so to speak. And where this is going to get set, you may notice like, hey, we're not setting this equal to anything. We're going to set this up in a second in the base screen. So we have our selection delegate, it did tap choice, and then we pass in the image we want, which is our Vader image or Darth Vader name, and then the color, uh, and same thing for the rebel. So that's all we need to do for the boss screen. So let's go to the intern screen here, the base screen. So remember the boss knows all the information. He knows what image to show. He knows what background color to send. The base screen, which is the intern, just gets that information and shows it. That's all, that's all they do. They just, they just follow orders. Okay, now remember I said we were gonna set up our selection delegate in the base screen? Here's where we're gonna do that, here on line 22 to 24, in the choose button tapped. Because here on line 21, we're creating our selection view controller, and then on 24, we're presenting that view controller. In between, after we create our selection VC, we can do selection VC dot selection delegate. Remember, this is the variable we just created, and we say equals self. Now in this case, self is the base screen. So essentially what we're doing here on line 24 is saying, hey, selection view controller, you have a variable called selection delegate, which is your intern. And the base screen is saying, I would like to be your intern. So that's where we're setting that selection delegate right here when we create the selection view controller. Now this is yelling at me because I haven't conformed to the delegate yet. That's what we're gonna do right now. So anytime you have a delegate, and you've probably seen this in like UI table view delegate or UI picker view delegate or anything like that. So anytime you have a delegate, your intern screen has to conform to that delegate. It's kind of like the intern getting the job. So let's make that happen. So I always like to have my delegates separate. Again, like all my table view methods, I like to have in a separate extension. All my UI picker view methods, I like to have in a separate extension. It just makes the code easier to read because everything is in its own nice little section. So let's go ahead and do that uh, extension. Uh, and it is on the base screen. 
and we are going to go ahead and do the, so what do we call it, side selection delegate. So we're conforming to that. Now you're going to notice Xcode is going to yell at us. Well, this one should go away on 24, which it did, because now it knows what we're talking about. Uh, but this is going to say, uh, type base green does not conform to protocol side selection delegate. And the reason you're getting that is because here on the selection screen, we said, hey, if you conform to side selection delegate, you have to have this did tap choice function. And the base screen right now doesn't have that function. You've probably seen this if you built a table view and you don't have the number of rows in section and self row and index path, it's gonna yell at you saying, hey, you're not conforming to the UI table view uh, delegate. So same thing's going on here. So let's go ahead and write that function. So uh, function did and it should autocomplete tap choice, there it is. So this function is gonna get called when this happens. When they tap this button, here selection delegate did tap choice, this function is automatically getting called over here in the base screen. So you don't have to, you don't have to call did tap choice anywhere in the base screen. It's getting called when they tap the button over in the selection screen. So all we need to do here is execute on the order. Imagine when they tap that button, that's like the boss saying, okay, here's all the information, do it. And then here on the intern screen, this is where you actually do it. So we just wanna change the main image view dot image, and that's gonna equal image, because remember, we're passing all this information, the image, the color, the, the name, we're passing that information in the did tap choice over on the boss screen, which is the selection screen. And then we wanna do name label dot text equals name, and you probably guessed it, uh, view dot background color equals color. Okay, so like I said, once our intern gets the information, here's where we just tell them what to do with that information. So let's go ahead and run it and see what we got. All right, we got our base screen here, choose a side. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the Imperial, the dark side. And look, background color is red. We have our Darth Vader image. We have our title, Darth Vader. Choose a side, let's go choose the rebel side, rebel. All right, we got Luke Skywalker here. The name is Luke Skywalker, cyan background, choose a side, back to delegate. Okay, cool, so you can see what's going on here. When you choose this Imperial, it's that did tap choice and it's passing all the Imperial information to the intern. And then once the intern has that information, it knows to just make the screen, you know, whatever it needs to be. Remember the big thing with delegates and protocols is that it is a one-to-one -one communication pattern. Whereas again, notifications and observers, which we'll get to in another video, is a one-to-many. That's the huge distinction you need to know for the interview question. And a way for me to remember the delegates and protocols and how to implement it is the boss versus the intern and kind of acting accordingly when I'm building out the code. So if you can remember that analogy, uh, that's gonna go a long way. Another tricky thing that didn't click for me right away with delegates is that I always thought I had to like call them somewhere. So here on line 31, I was like, oh, what, when do I call did tap choice? But remember, this is actually getting called from another screen and it's just w sitting here waiting to execute once that gets called. And another thing to remember about delegates, not so much in this example, but in like a table view, like self row at index path where you're configuring your cell, that is getting called constantly as the user is you know, swiping up and down the table view. Anytime a new cell comes into view, self row at index path gets called. So that was another like aha moment for me when I finally realized delegate methods could be fired off like basically all the time and constantly in the right scenario. Again, for our scenario that we just did, I don't want to confuse you, that's not the case. It's only getting fired off when you tap a button, uh, but that is just one characteristic that you should know about delegate.